Are you looking for a place in Las Vegas to retire in? This video is going to share six communities that you could find to be the perfect community to retire in. Las Vegas is quickly becoming a top destination for retirees. Many people are taking advantage of our no state income tax and our low property taxes. Here in Las Vegas, we have several active adult communities. What is an active adult community? Well, it's a 55 plus or one person in the family must be 55 plus to own in these communities. These communities offer tons of activities, a social calendar, and they all have a very grand clubhouse with pools, spa, uh, classes, aerobics, crafting, just tons and tons of stuff to do. So if you're looking for a retirement community, I highly suggest looking into the active adult communities that I'm about to share with you now. Community number one, Sun City Anthem. Sun City Anthem is located in Henderson in the master plan community of Anthem. This community was developed by Dell Webb. This community is a really nice elevation in the Black Mountains. And what I love about this community is you get some views. Some of these homes have strip views, some of them have mountain views, and a lot of them have golf course views. Because this community is elevated, you are gonna experience cooler temperatures, which is ideal during the summer heat wave. Price ranges for this community start in the 300,000s, but can go up to the million dollar range for the larger homes with those strip views. The HOA is gonna run you around $140 a month, but if you have a townhome, the HOA does take care of the front and backyard, so your HOA payment is gonna be about $370 a month. There are almost 7,200 homes in this community, and what this community has is an award-winning clubhouse. Every single year, Sun City Anthems Clubhouse gets this grand award for 55 plus communities. And what's also unique about this community is there are three clubhouses. These clubhouses have different offerings. They have lap pools, pickleball, bocce ball, crafts, sewing, anything that you can imagine. There's something going on in one of these clubhouses. In the top clubhouse, it has a gorgeous dining area where they host lots of social gatherings, dances, holiday parties, all kinds of ways to meet your neighbors. There are two things to note about Sun City Anthem when it comes to purchasing a home in there. Number one, there is a transfer fee. A lot of agents don't know this, and this is something that you need to know if you're looking to buy in Sun City Anthem. When you go to purchase a home, the seller is gonna ask you to pay one third of 1% of the purchase price to gain access to the clubs. This is a new member fee, and it's something that's required when it comes to purchasing a home in Sun City Anthem. Number two, at one time, all of these homes were built with Kai Tech plumbing. Kai Tech plumbing is something to note because it was a huge disaster and there was a huge lawsuit. Some of the homes received a check and trusted that the owner went and moved forward with a plumbing company that was recommended and that plumbing was changed out to something else but some people did take those checks and cash them in their bank account. So you're gonna wanna make sure during your due diligence that that home has had that plumbing replaced. That is something you can find out online. It is public record, but it's something you're gonna wanna note if you are looking to purchase in Sun City Anthem. Community number two, Del Webb at Lake Las Vegas. Del Webb is located at Lake Las Vegas, just like in the name. What's so great about this community is you get the gorgeous lake views. Lake Las Vegas is located in Henderson and it has a 320 acre man-made lake. This community offers single stories with 12 award-winning floor plans. These homes are more on the modern side. So if you have a modern taste, you're really gonna love this community. There's about 750 homes. Not all of them have been built yet. We're in 2023. So if you're looking to build a home, this could be a great opportunity for you to pick your lot, pick a floor plan and add some extras. These homes start in the $500,000 range and go all the way up to a million dollars. There are some resale properties. So if you're looking to just do a quick move in, you have that option as well. Your HOA is going to have the master plan HOA, which is about $400 a quarter. And this service is Lake Las Vegas. It keeps the gorgeous trees and all the landscaping. And of course that gorgeous lake filled. And then you're going to have the Del Webb fee. 
The Dell Lab fee is $195 a month. So you're looking about $328 a month for your HOA. This community has a gate and it also has a 10,000 square foot clubhouse. In this clubhouse, you'll find a pool, a spa, a fitness center, a social area where they have social events all the time. And of course, all of the things that you get at Lake Las Vegas, hiking trails, biking trails, um, and all of the fun things to do in the lake. If you're into water sports, you're into being in nature, and you don't wanna to be too far from the Las Vegas Strip in the airport, Dell Lab at Lake Las Vegas could be the perfect fit for you. Community number three, Heritage at Cadence. Heritage is Lennar, which is a nationwide home builder's first active adult community in Henderson. This is located right outside of Lake Las Vegas in the master plan community of Cadence. This community will feature 980 attached and detached homes, all single story. Cadence is a grand master plan community with over 450 acres of parks, biking trails, and of course, hiking. Something fun about Cadence is they have something called smart bikes. You can book these bikes using an app on your phone and there's a Wi-Fi connection on the bike. So it's kind of a community bike that everyone can use. You have to use your app, but it's kind of fun. You'll see people riding around the neighborhood. They also have a very small man-made lake and it's absolutely gorgeous in this community. I also love it because you're right outside of Lake Las Vegas without all the fees and the higher price point. So you can just drive about 10 minutes or so and you're at Lake Las Vegas. These homes start in the low 400s and can go upwards into the mid 600s. At the center of these 980 homes, we have an over 22,000 square foot clubhouse. Residents of Heritage have private access to the pool, the cafe, the social calendar, and of course the fitness center. If you have an RV, this could be a great community for you. The Encore Collection, which is their top tier collection, has the option for an RV garage. So if you wanna get home here in Las Vegas, but also travel around the nation in your RV, this could be a perfect home for you. Floor plans range from 1,200 square foot for the townhome, all the way up to 3,200 square feet where you could add that RV garage as an upgrade. Heritage at Cadence has two HOAs, one for the master plan where you can experience all the amenities of Cadence and then one for Heritage so you have that clubhouse and all of those activities. Quarterly for Cadence, you're looking at $150 and then for the Heritage HOA, you're looking at $162 a month. Altogether, you're in about $212 a month for all of those amenities. If we haven't met yet, my name is Courtney Benley and I'm a luxury real estate agent here in Las Vegas in Henderson. I'm a concierge real estate agent who takes the headaches out of moving to my favorite city, Las Vegas. Now let's move on to the next three communities. Community number four, Regency at Summerlin. Located approximately 11 miles from the Las Vegas Strip and the airport, we have Regency, which is located in Master Plan Summerlin. Regency is designed by Toll Brothers and has a contemporary desert design. Regency offers nine different floor plans to pick from, ranging from 1,600 square feet all the way up to 22. 200 square feet. Home prices for this community run in the low 400s all the way up to the high 800s. Your HOA runs about $405 a month. You have about $300 a month for the guard gate and all of the amenities Regency has to offer, as well as the $55 Summerlin master plan fee. All homes in Summerlin have this master plan fee, just so you know. Something to look out for when you're purchasing in Summerlin is something called a SID and LID fee. What are SIDs and LIDs in Las Vegas? SID, Special Improvement District, and LID is Local Improvement District. Basically, these fees are levied by the city in master plan communities to collect additional funds to keep up with the roads, the lines, and all the things it takes to build a master plan community. These fees are often broken down into a yearly fee so that it takes a lot off of the new owner. The developers do pass this on to the buyers of these properties, and oftentimes if you're buying a newer home, there may be a balance left over. Anytime I mention a newer home on my channel and you're about to look into buying one, definitely do your due diligence and make sure that fee is current and what it is and if it has a lien against it. Uh, these fees can be $14,000 sometimes, and it's something you need to know before you get into your home so you know exactly how much you owe every single month. Now, Regency has a guard gate, which I think is so luxurious, and they also have a resort-style amenities 
The curve for the amenities they created is extremely high and the amenities are beautiful. Their clubhouse is over 22,000 square feet. The clubhouse offers a pool, fitness center, and there's also these amazing tennis courts. So if you're looking to get a new hobby, Regency's clubhouse will probably help you find it. What most people like about Regency is the location. You're so close to downtown Summerlin, and if you're into hiking and biking, you're not that far from the Red Rock Mountains, which are glorious. If you're looking for somewhere where you can do a lot of outdoor activities, Regency has access to all of it. So out there, if you're looking, it's very important to think, what do I want my lifestyle to look like in this next chapter of my life? And that'll help you determine what location is best for you. In saying that, I'm just curious, what area seems appealing to you if you're looking to move to Las Vegas? Comment below and let me know. Community number five, Sienna. Sienna is built around the Schmidt Curley 18 hole championship golf course. This guard gated community has gorgeous landscaping with waterfalls and little lakes. When you go through the guard gates, you are just entered into this paradise. And it's so nice because you are in the middle of Las Vegas. Sienna is located in the master plan community of Summerlin. So you have access to downtown Summerlin and the hiking and biking I shared earlier in the Red Rock Canyons. If you like to dance or host big parties, Sienna has a 7,200 square foot ballroom. It also has a 40,000 square foot area, which they call the clubhouse, where you can have meetings, they have card games, they have social events and parties and all kinds of things happening all the time. This community was built in between 2000 and 2006 and the big draw for it was the guard gated community as well as the golf course. This club has a 15,000 square foot clubhouse with a bistro and a golf shop. And like every other community I've mentioned, of course there's a pool and a health and fitness center. There are about 2,000 residents here in Siena and you have options for townhomes as well as luxury homes and everything in between. These homes range in size from 1,000 square feet all the way up to 3,000 square feet. And the luxury homes have things like fireplaces and gorgeous gourmet kitchens and lovely backyards. These homes range between 500,000 all the way up to $2 million. Your HOA fees, including the Summerlin Master, are around $240 a month. Community number six, a trilogy at Summerlin. With 13 different floor plans to pick from, they have options from townhomes all the way up to luxury single stories. This is a newer community and there's about 354 residents here in this community. These homes start around the $600,000 range and they have floor plans from 1,500 all the way up to 2,500 with a little extra. What's unique about this community is the homes you can do a casita. And for many of you out there who are thinking about relocating, you may be wanting to have friends and family stay with you. Having that additional casita as an option and an upgrade could be incredible for you. Trilogy's active lifestyle includes pickleball, fitness, bocce ball, as well as inviting people to do hikes together in Red Rock Canyon and do shopping trips at downtown Summerlin. This community is also located near seven different golf courses. So if you're an avid golfer, being a part of this community could be a great way to meet other avid golfers and have a golfing buddy. Your HOA for this community is around $546 a month. You're looking about 480 for the guard gate as well as the clubhouse and all the amenities. And then you're looking at an additional 48 to 55 for that master plan Summerlin. This community is also guard gated. Trilogy and Regency are both brand new communities here in Summerlin. Both guard gated, both with resort style amenities. It can be hard to pick. I always suggest that my clients check out both of them and you will know right away. One is more desert contemporary, one is more modern, and the clubhouses are a little bit different style too. So if you're in Summerlin, you're looking in Summerlin, you want a guard gated neighborhood, active adult, newer community, you really have two options. And then a newer community is coming soon, Heritage at Stonebridge. Like I mentioned earlier in Cadence, they have Heritage, which is a Lennar active adult community. They are also bringing it over to Summerlin. So we'll have the same floor plans, but of course the cost will be just a bit more because you are in Summerlin. So if you're looking into that, that could be another option for you as well. To learn more about retiring here in Las Vegas, I have additional videos with more content to share what it's like to live here in Las Vegas, the pros and the cons, and of course what it's like to retire here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.